Our adventure began when we left Melbourne, landed in Hobart, picked up our rental car and drove almost 90 minutes down to Port Arthur. Port Arthur is the World Heritage listed convict site and along with visiting the site and existing buildings there are lovely gardens to enjoy. I recommend the ghost tour if you think you're up for it. If you want to eat the cafe has a nice selection of food and you'll have a warm full belly for when you go out into the night um, which is good with because um, it was cold for us at least. You get some great stories and the mood is eerie. Uh, Port Arthur is also the check-in site for those wishing to undertake the Three Capes hike. One of my favourite areas was the Commandant's House on the hill uh, with lovely views. Most interesting was perhaps the separate prison for getting a feeling for what kind of conditions the prisoners had to endure. It includes a chapel where you can climb up to the pulpit. And speaking of views, I recommend taking the short harbour cruise that is included in the ticket price. It's nice to sit down, frankly, and rest while seeing areas from the water that you can't uh, from the land. And finally, for those of you wanting to break up the trick going back to Hobart, I recommend stopping at Denali Bay. Our kids went and played down on the sand and it was hard getting them back in, um, back in the car again to continue on our journey.